what it would be is a very basic concept. You can only spend what taxes bring in at any point in time. We don't rely on budget estimates that can be gamed. We have a simple starting limit on spending. You can only bring, you can only spend what cash brings in, and that's it. Now, there's one exception, because the problem with having that hard and fast limit is that sometimes the taxes are flowing and they're not flowing and you have spending obligations that come and go, so you can't line up taxes with spending, even for legitimate things. What you need is then a line of credit, a revolving line of credit, a, a, some degree of borrowing capacity to handle the volatility in the incoming cash. And so our amendment does allow for the federal government to borrow, but we set a limit, a debt limit, on how much the federal government can borrow. It's a big debt limit, but the important thing is it's not going to be unlimited. Right now, under the Constitution, the federal government has unlimited borrowing capacity. And when the federal government thinks that it can borrow anything it wants, there's no reality behind any of its decisions. It's like having magic. And as a result, we don't see budgets. We don't see prioritization. We don't see any sort of rational spending or efficiency in government. I mean, think about it. If you, in your own life, didn't have to worry about where your money was coming from, if you had an unlimited credit card that you could tap for anything under the sun, how would you even know what it would mean to be rational or efficient in any budgeting? Wouldn't you just buy every trinket that came in front of you? I mean, why would you not? Now imagine the situation with the government. That's exactly what the federal government is facing. The federal government has, under its control, unlimited borrowing authority, and they're buying anything that, that looks shiny, anything that can buy votes, anything that can keep the politicians that are controlling that power in office. And so the key, the key to restraining government and, more importantly, having any degree of efficiency out of government is to limit the debt.